Huh? So this is the usual strength. Oh, varu aanga. Okay. 730 means 730 or 745? <laughs> okay. So today we'll be uh, dealing with uh, orientation to us. So is there any doubts you want to discuss or anything? For five minutes we'll discuss something else. It's a very interesting concept. Okay. We are going to compare with the uh, low equilibrium trap. It's a concept in economics. Okay. Why it is relevant I will tell you. Okay. Our, the, our government is very much scared of this word because so many foreign like economists have said that India is going into this phase only. But all our finance ministers, all our economists are saying, no, no, this is just a general depression in India. Our India is very much stable. Our India will go. But if you ask any other economist, yeah, yeah please come in. Economist from what is a middle income trap? Say for example, country A, which is a developed country in which Okay. The major advantage in developed countries in Patina, what will be there? It will usually be industrialized. Okay. So country B, which is like a poor country, okay. When it will get industrialized? Yep, industry is growing. Usually, on the pathing, na, one point cost on the te, ang produce from ten rupees and rupees. And over the period of time, standard of living increase. Right? Labor is cheap, land is cheap, everything is cheap here. Okay. So, when the industry is produce pannu, when the produce pannu, profit just in solita, they will start investing in these poor countries. That is why in India, FDIs were so much attracted. Yena inga. Not only because we have a big market, the second thing is that our labor is also cheap. That's why we invest in our But if in the country is poor, you can invest in all the foreign investments. One point is that you can invest in the inflation will start setting in here also. Your currency will also become stronger. Okay, currency is stronger than that. Say, for example, one dollar is equal to 50 rupees and one dollar is equal to 100 rupees. Which is a stronger currency for India? One dollar is equal to fifty rupees. Yeh dinala ipon thete invest panta dinala in the in that in the state lindi in the state again marun. It's not just inflation. Excel market has been started. Start panti kangla Excel these things. Okay, it's same demand and supply only. When there is lot of demand na inago usually. There will be a lot of demand, na? The, the demand of the project increases, the price also will increase. The same way, actually, you can see that in India, you can see that in India, you can see that in the market, even though I am from US, na, dollars are directed to the market. Now, what do you do? Dollars are rupiah convert first. You are getting it. Only if I convert, I can invest in India, right? So, convert, I have to buy rupees now. So, demand for rupee increases. So, demand for rupee increases, na, na? Value of rupee also will increase. Abhi na natra, hundred rupees kudta usually on the tip, one dollar was hundred rupees under the value on the tip, fifty rupees kudkara hari under the. Yena on the pating na, it's like that means the value of dollar is reducing, value of rupee is appreciating na ratong inge. Correcta. So that means when demand for rupee increases, rupee appreciates. Appreciates me idha concept le. Okay. It seems to be lower, but this is a stronger rupee. Okay. So idha naal inna agana, or point of time le. Due to heavy investments, India LME, we don't have our own productions. LME investment na lada na mag grow ite on the drugon. One point line na guna, in the appreciate ite varam bodha. Okay, please come in. Appreciate ite, labor cost also slowly starts increasing because of increasing standard of living. And the point line na guna, in the country, in the company se na ponvanga. Anga ponon costly adar ke. Okay, let us not invest there. Let us pull back our investments. We'll invest, we'll invest here only in solita. We will try, they will go back and invest in the same countries. Yeh na, ippu inga cheap aidi chhe. Yeh naal is cheap aachi na, inga technology ondar chhe. Technology ondar pura machine produce pana aamcha chhe. Machines are much cheaper than labor. So first one, yeh dhaka inga shift aana nga, because labor is cheaper. But again, inga ondha nama develop aagama foreign currency vachche yeh varandha ittru no. But suddenly now, developed countries started getting machines. So all the investments will go back to again the developed countries. So what will happen to a country like this poor country like B? So earlier they had some investments, but suddenly investments will slowly moving out. So production also slowly decreases. So if companies will 
unemployment will come, inflation will come, your GDP growth will also go down. So, in the moon signs, in India, what is happening right now? In the last two months, Patina, FDI is going out. Okay, unemployment is rising. So, all these things are actually happening. So, that is why there is a big question that India is falling into a middle income trap. So, if you have a trap, what do you call in Tamil? Trap? Okay, you all understand trap, right? Okay, fine. So, a trap, once you have caught into a trap, you cannot come out of it at all. Someone has to pull you out. Correct. You can't come out of it. So, what do you pull out of it? Trap. Industry is, industry is very good, you are very near, but there is one, one, one technical word solution. Abhi nahi you need R&D and technology. So without this you cannot come out. If you have two of the cost of labor therapy will be less. Comparatively only when you have an advantage over the other countries, then only production. Industries are always when you have an advantage here. Where is advantage? Kadeko? Only when you have technology and development, R&D. If you don't have these two, industries will not come and you will become poorer and poorer. All your inflation, this will go out. So, this is called middle income trap. So, even two days back there was an article. That's why I just took this to this class. Okay. So, always remember middle income trap. Okay. So, then what is this low equilibrium trap? Okay. This is the present India. Okay. Low equilibrium path is past India. In 1960s, 70s. nineteen sixties and nineteen seventies okay so what happened you would have read about uh, so many of your first uh, fire plant please come first fire plant second fire plant area plants what do you mean by hindu growth rate hindu growth rate in your five year plans so during your first six five year plans the growth rate never exceeded three percent always it was less than three three or three percent only always it was like that at the upper we started growing a little bit. Okay. So, this is the Hindu growth rate. So, we call it as a Hindu country, right? So, Hindus are not the only thing we have to do. Because we follow a socialistic pattern of economy. Okay. So, in the time, we have to do it. There is a, if for example, a country which is a low income country. And the country develop power is not enough. Obviously, in the GDP terms, I am talking only about economy. If you, a country has to develop, please come. Okay, I am just asking what all you need for a country. If you poor country develop, you need more industries. Okay, you need more investments for that industry. So, the, the thing is, you are a low income country. Okay, how can they invest? Investments in India. Usually, the maximum investments in India, in India, in our country. Domestic savings learned. That is a major. See, foreign direct investments are a major part, but the maximum investment in India is from domestic savings. Tha. Okay. So, we have to save the bank, it is coming as a loan, or people itself they start their own business. That is the actual major investment in India. So, when will you have domestic savings? Only when your income is high. Okay. Income is loan. Savings is Savings is low. Savings is low. Savings is low. Investment is low. Investment is low. You will stay only as a low income country only forever. You are getting it. So, or low income country is there. Our savings are there, investment is there. So, our low income country is there. So, there will be another cycle. So, low income country, low savings, low investment. Low investment is there. So, low income country is there. If you are not there, this is a low income trap. If you are in India, arrange. So, if you are in India, from this low income trap, from this low income trap, beautiful. You need investments from outside. So, this was provided by your LPG reforms, 1991. So, that's why we started growing. Before that also, we had a potential. Everything was the same. Only thing different was, investment was not there. One, after 1991 reforms, everything changed. And we suddenly moved out of a low income, low income trap. So, basically, this is called, I'm sorry, this is called low equilibrium trap. Equilibrium. Okay. So, Low equilibrium is nothing but low income. So, that's why we are in the middle income trap. Now, next we are in the middle income trap. Now, we are in the middle income trap. Now, we are in the middle income trap. Next big challenge. So, that is why we focus so much on skill development, all these missions, all your investments, everything is developed, focused on this area. So, 
So this is the difference between middle income trap and low equilibrium trap. Okay, fine. Inna yara chhavaru mangla. So that's it. Okay, just you just take down this chart alone. You go and develop your own things at your home. Okay. This is the current affair. Okay. So anyway, I'll deal with that. Add with that. Okay. Just write one line. Middle income trap. Middle income trap is a phenomenon. Middle income trap is a phenomenon. Whereby, please come. Whereby, a developing country loses its. A developing country loses its. Comparative advantage. Lose its comparative advantage because of rising costs of production. Loses its comparative advantage because of rising cost of production. This results in movement of this results in movement of capital and investments movement of capital and investments away from the country leading to leading to low gdp growth increasing unemployment increase okay you put in brackets modern deindustrialization put in brackets modern deindustrialization So, deindustrialization. Up is not deindustrialized such India. Why deindustrialization happened in your 18th century, 19th century? Because of what? <laughs> Come on, modern history or it? Right? Because of colonial policies. Okay, what are those colonial policies? They secured Ramindari on the deindustrialization direct agade. The main problem of deindustrialization on the Padina, they took raw materials which is free of import duties in Britain, but on a finished goods had British finished goods had low, uh, fini, uh, low duties, but Indian finished goods had high duties. So comparative advantage because of colonial policies nala. You call it as what is it called? Imperialism. Okay. So, on the imperialistic policies, nala, on the See, this all I, won't, I don't want to discuss, okay? but that was basically due to political power. But what is deindustrialization today? Because of technological power. So, that is a comparison. Okay? If you want to write a comparative answer in your mains, this will be very useful. Okay? Appa on the political reasons, nala, on the Ippo, technological reasons. Nala, on the so, that time, power, power and political power. Today, technology is the power. So, that is the thing. Okay, so you made this small table for low equilibrium trap. Yes, this diagram alone. Low equilibrium country, low savings, low income. Again, low equilibrium country. Okay.
இந்த லைட் மட்டும் ஆஃப் பண்ண முடியுமா So we'll start with the orientation for your test too. So how was your first test? Good? Better? Best? Okay, better. Very good. So see, uh, second test, we are going to talk about your syllabus for second test is going to be little bit of ancient, little bit of art and culture and your world, um, yeah, what is that? World, like uh, India yearbook is also there and two, three states are also given. So we'll just discuss how to read for this. Okay. So before going to that, I just have to make a small uh, information see actually vandha pathina nambo in the preparation of your prelims la pathina you want something when we think about uh, this upsc prelims ka preparation if you ask anyone na the most vague subject in getting na ena solluvanga in the ancient history and art and culture da solluvanga it's always like that because you don't have an exact standard book okay for example your nitin singhania which people say suggest or not for example i have been reading that book for almost 3 years now okay but the problem is இது வரைக்கும் நான் பிலிம்ஸ் எழுதுனா ஒரே ஒரு கொஸ்டின் மட்டும் தான் நிதின் சிங்கர் வந்திருக்கு தட் இஸ் அ ரியாலிட்டி ஆல்சோ ஓகே பட் இட் டுக் சோ மெனி இயர்ஸ் ஃபார் மீ டு ரியலைஸ் சம்திங் எல்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஓகே ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்ட் திஸ் டு பி வித் இன் திஸ் கிளாஸ் ஓகே ஏன் சொல்கிறேன்னா பிகாஸ் இஃப் எவ்ரி ஒன் நோஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி ஃபார் சச் டிஃபிகல்ட் சப்ஜெக்ட்ஸ் இட் பிகம்ஸ் டிஃபிகல் ஃபார் யூ டு கிளியர் திஸ் எக்ஸாம் ஆல்சோ அகேன் ஸோ பிகாஸ் யூ ஆர் மை ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஐம் டெலிங் யூ அதர்வைஸ் ஈவன் ஐ வில் ஹவ் சம் ஃபியூ ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் ஃபார் மை செல்ஃப் it is not okay na namal therinjadna okay you can share but strategies are something which is evolved over a period of time so enna ka evolve one strategy i'll just share with you it's better to have within yourself if it works for you well and good so but i'll i'll prove that also my strategy works or not also today only okay so the thing is we'll start with the prehistory part okay so namba paathina namba art and culture or ancient history la paakumbodhu we start with uh, what is that paleolithic age or mesolithic age Neo- neolithic age But the problem is, we will have so many pages of notes in that. Okay. But how many questions have come? And then it's zero questions. So that is like past seven years, I am telling you. Questions never come in this area at all. But every year question comes on mains in this area. That is where it comes from. Rock art, cave arts or your mythologic paintings. Not more than that. That is the only one that you can learn. Just read mythologic sites, neolithic sites, paleolithic sites. and approximately in the year to end the age like 20000 bc to this 6000 bc was your neolithic age that age is alone you remember so please don't waste time on this ellarume enna pannuvona or test ku varumbodhu we'll start opening the book okay so first chapter romba naram padichikittu irupom there is a difference between gaining knowledge and clearing the exam okay so nama clear pannuvona exam you, you be see if you have so much knowledge what will happen you will come and give lectures only which is not needed for you you don't want to become a professor here you want to clear the exam so adanal pathina where to start also is very important so i will say that in the mesolithic paleolithic la start e panna kodadu or person ancient history start panna mudhu and the chapter open panna that means he is not going to clear na artham first strategy so you should know where to read so first of all when you open your books please don't read these chapters this is for the last day reading okay what you should read in getting na the rock rock art paintings of mesolithic period just write down just note down three words only this is what you are going to read okay mesolithic rock art paintings the various sites okay and the age age separation upper paleolithic na epo lower paleolithic na epo mesolithic na epo the age separation is alone see but analytical questions can be asked in your mains for example upsc la unda epdi vena kekkalam questions sir for example i have noticed one interesting question the you have seen the tarzan movie tarzan movie paathirukinga at least tarzan movie kelli pottirukinga ellarume okay tarzan movie actually pathana history history wise pathana it's a wrong movie concept itself is wrong ena tarzan enna varan avan ela ella kattiittu varan so that means he is upper paleolithic age upper paleolithic age la we did not 
Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic. Okay. Please note down this. This is a very important question. When was fire invented? When was agriculture invented? These are the two questions you need to orient yourself towards prelims preparation. Okay. You just make a big note of this. This might be the maximum question possible in this area. Okay. We will go to the next area now. Okay. Fine. Okay. So, now coming to Indus Valley Civilization. Okay. And one more thing is that this is just a strategy. Please, I am not from UPSC member, but I will just tell you the strategy, this is the best way possible. If you read this time, I am not saying that don't read the other things. Please, I am not saying that at all. Please don't mistake me. First, if you read this time, you go for the other things. Okay? That is what I am trying to say. Okay. Next, Indus Valley Civilization. So, is it an important topic or not? So, this is one of the most important topics. Every year question comes from here. So, you need to start with this only when your preparation starts. Okay, we will just see a few questions around. You already read in the Salila? Okay, I will just show you a few questions. Then you will get oriented. Okay, just try, the, try to read this question. Okay, they have compared Rig Vedic period and your Indus Valley Civilization question. Okay. In the question, you have seen. Who have not seen, try to answer, please. If you know the answer, please don't answer. But if you have not really seen, na, just try to answer. What can be the answer? Okay. Just I'll ask you first question. In this valley civilization, le, you have seen the area seals, art, lamp, art, lamp. If you have used instruments or weapons in the photo, then you have to see it. So, first statement can be true or not? So, can be true. Okay, did not leave any evidence. Correct. If we have seen the sword in the book, we have seen the sword in the book. We have seen the picture in the book. Next one. Rig Vedic Aryans knew only gold only, silver and copper. Whereas, Indus Valley Civilization only copper and iron. True? Okay, but actually what is bronze? Copper, tin and iron. So, actually Indus Valley Civilization is a bronze age or not? It is a bronze age. So, copper and iron were definitely known. That is for sure. But the only thing is, when you take your NCRT book, gold ornaments worn by Indus Valley Civilization is a fourth or fifth picture of a diagram. The thing is, gold was known for them. So, this is a wrong statement. What I am trying to say is that, you don't have to read in depth also. Just with pictures only you can solve this. If you look at a picture, you can see gold. So, second statement is definitely wrong. You cut down the question. Two options are out now. You have only two options, one only and one and three only. Okay, you see the last option. This is a very, uh, what to say. This is a critical answer actually. Because few people say this is yes or no. Horse, horse are evidence in the IVC. Surkot or horse bones were there. But the problem was UPC question was, horse was not for, known for IVC. So one only was the answer. I also made a mistake. The problem is, different historians interpret in a different way. So. This thing, uh, that is a standard book for uh, UPSC, Upender Singh. And Upender Singh body, they did not know. But you don't go into controversies. If you have written A or C, I will accept that. But you should not choose B or D. That much only. So what I am trying to say is that in Indus Valley Civilization, you are going to First, you go and do, see the diagrams. All the diagrams in all your NCRTs. Okay? So if you have old NCRT also, it's well and good. But I will not suggest that last three years, what a trend to na old NCRT in the question of the question. Only new NCRTs. Your themes one and your introduction to art and culture is there. In the end book, it's more than enough for that. Okay. So next, we'll go to the next question. Okay. So, Tribanga posture, Kelly Patrick, Inga? Inga Kelly Patrick, Inga? Dancing girl. So, what will be the answer for this? Okay, answer already solita, Tribanga posture no solita. Tribanga is nothing but a posture, right? The dancing girl. So obviously this is A. This is the level of question they are asking. Okay, next we'll go. Okay, this is 2013 question. Which of the following characteristics characterize the people of Indus Valley Civilization? Okay. They possess great palaces and temples. No. There's no evidence, right? Great bath arunchi, great candy arunchi, but on a temple illa. So one element, what is the answer? B or D. So 
two correct ah illa na you can leave out the third option very well now so see whether two is correct or not see yeah beautiful that time the society was more of egalitarian in nature so they worship both men and women so two only is the answer so what i am trying to say is that if you know the concept you can answer okay we'll go to the next question we'll see that yeah so three questions i have brought so this is the last four years la vanda three questions la five years la vanda three questions is da but in the three years ku vanda question ku neenga evlo padikino not much to be read but ana what you need to know is that you need to know about the people of indus valley civilization avanga eppadi irundanga nu solli neenga paathukonu adha eppadi kadaikona only with analysis so people of indus valley yara worship pannanga did they worship god or nature worshipers so this is also controversy here so we should not say that they worship nature ning conclude panna mudiyadu so they were also nature worshipers they also had then a pasupati seal namakitta irukku so abindra bodu few historians believe that they worship god also okay was there any evidence of animal sacrifice fire altar lothal keli pattirukinga fire altar la enna pannu altar la enna pannuvanga sacrifice enna pannuvanga so sacrifice was known for them so this is how you should conclude okay so all the cities in indus valley civilization were made up of two levels one is citadel and the other is non citadel true or false okay you should not conclude okay there was a city called chanhudora which had three levels citadel middle citadel and lower citadel there was few cities where there was no citadel at all it was a plain so adu kadaiyad okay next all indus valley civilization places had the same type of planning town planning true or false but this was true actually 90 degree roads la irundha drainage system undu it was common for all the cities okay fine next question in this is little bit of mains oriented question adavadhu undu pathina ipo vandu how did indus valley civilization come to an end see bayangara advanced ah irukanga la roads la irundha ellame proper ah maintain pannanga thirin vandu rigvedic period vandu eppadi nadakkudhu thirupi rigveda vandha appo enna aayiduchu rigvedic period appo during the early vedic period how people were people had big houses no. what did rigvedic people have no. rural economy yeah? agricultural economy no. and what economy was rigvedic period people they were pastures and nomads inga irupanga koina kachi navundukite irupanga so appo vandu pathina ipo idhil inda question eppadi varana appo vandu land was sacred to them or not rigvedic period la no. land was not sacred only cows were sacred ana later vedic period appo they started settling settling up land was becoming a very important tool till now we have the same impact only now so ipdi dhaan questions varalam ungalku so appa edhanaala why did uh, this uh, ivc came come to an end uh, indus valley civilization huh? there are so many theories correct wheeler's theory said flood has happened okay there is some other theories called aryan invasion theory okay earthquake theory nariya theories irukku so what do you have to remember is these theories yaar yaar enna sonnaanga so because they are expecting you to become a historian here so end the theory irukku at least in the indus valley le vandu most important is theories which question has not come it can come for you so this is how you have to read indus valley civilization okay so basically if for example sur kotadala enna irukku horse bones irundha okay lothar la dock yard irundha idhu mari enga enga important site la what was there that is the first thing we should read indus valley civilization second is indus valley civilization ka map you should read edhula indus valley sites in first theory nam ulukku in your second or third page itself lot of cities are there and the cities are not to south arrange panna solla south to north arrange panna sollala so you should know the entire map properly next is what are the jewelry ornaments they own just little bit one one line of it and last is theories so this is how you need to read how much time it will take not even one hour if you already have our notes abbi illa na in the line la unga notes prepare panna start pannunga so that it will not become too burdensome at the exam time so this is how you should read the indus valley civilization okay got it we'll move to the next okay so we are going to the vedic period yeah so in vedic period and mahajanapadas okay vedic period also includes buddhism jainism okay so how, questions varudha illa in the area maximum questions are in yeah so if you take the entire art and culture and ancient history na maximum questions are always from buddhism so what i would tell you is that if you are very smart enough you should not stick only to your class notes in this area class notes thandi ncert ponu ncert thandi or periya book ponu because questions are coming from here only so you know that also so buddhism and jainism la you should know a to z their philosophies la the what they did from where they did everything you should know so i would suggest you to read nitin singhania ncert 
your class notes plus some other one extra book whatever that extra book may be online la edacha ancient history download panni kuda neenga buddhism padinga illaya your just wikipedia page of buddhism nu solla search panni detailed ah padinga but you should make a detailed and reading here so you should not stop with only class notes here ungalku ellarkume theriyum buddhism endu question varudhu every year it is coming so you should be very confident enough to not even miss one question here okay this should be your reading here so you need detailed reading here so we'll see the questions how it comes okay so the painting of bodhisattva padmapani is where it is in the case of ajanta if you have opened the tatan culture book cave number 47 or 57 something is written this picture itself is given bodhisattva picture ajanta la irukku nu solittu image irukku again what the importance is given first see the images nu solranga adukapra padikalam appo indranga okay next so two years it has come only with image based questions okay yeah this is also little easy only if you think we'll try to answer this okay with reference to guilds of ancient india that played a very important role in the country's economy which of the following is are correct guild na enna group of merchants la send a group form panna edhuka form pandranga avangulla self regulate pandradhukaga correct ah so other than a concept now you try to answer this first statement is correct or wrong king was the head of guild king head ah na guild e thevai illa so avaru da already rule padala ad king kitta sari pattu varalam solla self regulate pannadhukaga so first statement is wrong so if you eliminate first statement what happens two options are going that's all so either you have to see now two and three so two is so three is definitely correct adhu mudiyu aayiruchu so you need to just read two second statement only so write the answer for the second the wages rules of work standards and prices were fixed by the guild yeah please come in true or false guild oda function e edana edukaga vandanga idella fix panna da vandanga so 2 is correct na 2 and 3 is the answer so what i am trying to say is that again the method of elimination only best works in ancient history okay so always try to eliminate what is not there 50% of the options goes off because upsc vandha patha na question not tough option is always easy only okay so 2 and 3 so guild na na it's a merchant thing for self regulation of their own industries and processes okay next we'll go okay so this is some one and a half like oh, some questions are like little difficult so we cannot take this but this question is actually from india year book okay if you read that symbols and now it comes from mundaka upanishad okay very good okay this now we'll come to buddhism jainism yeah this also if you know the concept of buddhism okay edukka buddhism jainism first of all watch பிராமணிக்கல் சொசைட்டில யாருக்குமே ஒரு கோவம் வந்துச்சு ஏன்னா பிகாஸ் சோ மச் ஆஃப் சூப்பர் ஸ்டிஷன் சோ மச் ஸ்பெண்டிங் ஆஃப் மணி வாஸ் சார் ஸோ இட் கேம் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம்லி அவுட் சைட் தட் ஓகே புத்திசம் ஜெயினிசம் ரெண்டு கேம் வந்துச்சு ஒன்று வந்தாவே போதும்ல பட் ஒய் இட் டூ திங் ஹேப்பன் வாட் இஸ் த டிஃபரன்ஸ் பிட்வீன் புத்திசம் அண்ட் ஜெயினிசம் ஹார்ட் டு அடாப்ட் புத்திசம் வாஸ் ஸோ யூ கால் இட் அஸ் அ மிடில் பாத் ஓகே கரெக்ட் ஸோ திஸ் மச் யூ நோ ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வேற என்ன டிஃபரன்ஸ் இருக்கு புத்திசம்க்கு ஜெயினிசம்க்கு மெயினா ஃபிலாசபி வைஸ் வேதாச ரெண்டு பேருமே அப்போஸ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஓகேவா இட் இஸ் டோட்லி ஆன்டி வேதிக் ரிலிஜன்ஸ்லாம் ஓகே ஜெயினிசம் காடே இல்லைன்னு சொல்லுவாங்களா பேசிக்லி வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா புத்தா வாஸ் ஆல்வேஸ் மிடில் பாத் ஹி டிட் நாட் ஆன்சர் டிஃபிகல்ட் கொஷின்ஸ் ஹி ட்ரை டு அவாய்ட் டிஃபிகல்ட் கொஷின்ஸ் எப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்க ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இஃப் யூ ஆஸ் வெதர் தியரி ஆஃப் ரீபர்த் இஸ் தேர் அப்படின்னு கேட்டால் என்ன சொன்னார் ஓகே நிர்வாணம் அட்டன் பண்ணாவே போதும் ரீபாத் பத்தில பேசாதீங்கன்னு சொல்லிடுவார் அப்படின்னா நிர்வாணம் என்ன ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் அவர் வந்து ரீபாத் இருக்கான்னு கேட்டால் அவர் சொல்லல ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வந்து இப்போ பிறந்து வரத்துக்கு வந்து இந்த ரிச் ஃபேமிலி பார்க்கலாம் போர் ஃபேமிலி ஏதாச்சும் இருக்கு கர்மான்ற கான்செப்ட் இருக்கா புத்தால கர்மா கான்செப்ட் இருக்கு பட் ஆனால் ரீபாத்தை பிலீவ் பண்ணல ஏன்னா கர்மா வாஸ் அ ஸ்ட்ராங் ஃபிலாசபி இன்னைக்கும் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நம்ம தியரி ஆஃப் கர்மா இந்தியன்ஸ் பிலீவ் பண்ணுவாங்க ஸோ அந்த காலத்தில் இருந்து ஸ்ட்ராங்லி எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் ஸோ அதனால தியரி ஆஃப் கர்மாவை இன்ஹெரிட் பண்ணிட்டாரு பட் ஆனால் தியரி ஆஃப் ரீபத்தை ஸ்டாப் பண்ணிட்டாங்க ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஹவு புத்தா டெவலப்ட் இஸ் ஃபிலாசபி பட் வென் யூ கம் டு ஜெயினிசம் வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் வாட் ஜெயினிசம் இஸ் அன் எக்ஸ்ட்ரீம் பாத் அப்படின்னு என்ன அர்த்தம் அவர் வந்து என்னன்னா எவ்ரி திங் ஹேஸ் லைஃப் ஒன் ஆறு ஸோ அதனால தான் புத்திஸ்ட் மா சரி ஜெயின் மாங்கில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க பெருக்கிட்டே போவாங்க எதுவுமே ஈவன் ஒரு தெரியாம கூட ஒரு எறும்பு கூட மெரிச்சிட கூடாது அவங்க so that is like an extreme path everything has life and they have believed in birth and rebirth also adanalada vandittu um avasara pana usara pana something la people will be giant in one phase people will be dwarf in one phase we are in the middle phase right now you, you, you just go back and read all the theories and all it is there okay so adha mari vandha patra he believed in the rebirth and all so 
if you know this much of philosophy, we can answer all the answers actually. Just see this question, try to answer this. Avoidance of extremities of penance and enjoyment. See, what were common to both? So, this was common, huh? Avoidance of extremities of penance and enjoyment. Jainism la extremities iruduchi, Buddhism la kadayadu. So, this was not common. Okay, next. Indifference to the authorities of Vedas. Rendi perme Veda ka against Adam form pannanga. Next, denial of efficacy of rituals. Obviously, this is also true. So, what is the answer here? So, actually, only one eliminate pannanga answer on the road, two and three. You not even know 2 and 3. One wrong and kandipur chave bodo, your answer comes up. We will go to the next question, you see. Okay. So, Bhumi is Parsha Mudra. So, actually when the Patina Mudra of Buddha is very important. Two questions have come till now. So, you just uh, Google it because it will not be taught in your class. Bud Mudra of Buddha, Jagran Joshin or website. Rega. The first link or the second link will come. There are 10 different types of mudra. Abhaya mudra, Triyanga mudra, Bhumishpasana mudra, 10 mudras are there. What does each mudra signify? Make one one line note of it. So, questions can come directly on that. Okay. So, yeah, actually, is, B is the answer. Buddha is calling to the earth to witness his purity. That is the Bhumishpasana mudra. Na, Buddha will be sitting and he will be showing to the ground. The hand will be like this. Abhinaya Narthana. Okay. So, this is the Dharma Chakra Mudra. That means always the threefold path should be maintained. So, it's there in your uh, website. Just go back and read that website. Okay. This is fine. So, Mudra is you have to read. Okay. Next question. Some Buddhist rocket caves are Chaityas, while others are called Viharas. What is the difference? Is the place of worship? Chaitya. Okay, Chaitya is worship, Vihara is place to stay. Okay, so answer is B. Okay, very simple question again. Next. Okay, which of the following? Okay, we have almost discussed this. Try to answer this question. If you know, which of the following best describe the best concept of Nirvana? So, A, first we will see, A is correct, uh, flame of desire extinction. Okay, B, complete annihilation of self, state of bliss and rest, possible, a mental stage beyond all comprehension. So, beyond all comprehension, right? beyond all comprehension. So, it is like a full core definition, obviously D, that much you can eliminate. Other things, complete annihilation of self, right? Self under the maran dite, ni yar ne triya da adayala mila da agar So actually, ando patina there's a concept of in Jainism, where you don't. When a Buddha always did not go for the extreme path, he always fought in the middle path. So you have two options left: extinction of flame of desire or a state of bliss and rest. Okay, here again because he didn't discuss about uh, life and death, all these things he did not tell. Actually, the desire illa na ve he is called uh, nirvana actually according to Buddha. Okay. Bliss and rest na mena solra Buddhism la. Okay, Buddha when he went to the bliss and rest, complete rest, step up on it is called as Pari Nirvana. So that is not Nirvana. So that is what. If you had read what are the stages, when where did he where he was born, he attained Nirvana, where he attained Pari Nirvana, where he gave his first sermon. In the all four places you need to know and you need to locate in the map also. Just see the map, where it is you should know. So if you know that you can actually answer this. So Pari Nirvana, Nirvana difference you can actually. So, answer is A here. But okay, it's a difficult question, I understand. Okay, we'll see the next question. Okay. Which of the following statements is are applicable to Jain doctrine? Okay, first, first is true or false? Attaining karma, surest way of annihilating karma is to practic practice penance. Penance of Jainism is the main philosophy, extreme path, penance. Every object, even the smallest particle has a soul, everything has a soul, 1 and 2 are correct. So, obviously what is the answer now? D is the answer, then 3 should also be correct. So, that is how it is. But actually, on the Mari, none of the religions rejected the theory of karma. But all of the theory of rebirth is the theory of theories. That is Hinduism ka opposed to That is the concept you should catch. Okay? Fine. Okay. With reference to Buddhist history, tradition and culture in India, consider the following. Okay. So, this is also a very difficult question. You understand? So, this is one question. 
பட் இதுக்காக வந்து நம்ம என்ன பண்ண முடியும்னா வாட் யூ கேன் ஒன்லி திங் டூ விசட் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஃபார் நெக்ஸ்ட் இயர் ஏதாச்சும் புத்திஸ் மொனாஸ்ட்ரி வந்துச்சுன்னா படிச்சுட்டு போக முடியும் ஸோ வாட் வி ஷுட் டூ ஹியர் இதட் புத்திஸ் மொனாஸ்ட்ரி மட்டும் படிக்காம ஜெயின் மொனாஸ்ட்ரியும் படிச்சுட்டு போகணும் ஏன்னா புத்திசம் கேட்டாங்க ஜெயினிசம் என்ன கேட்கல ஸோ தட் மச் ஒன்லி வி கேன் டூ ஓகே ஸோ ஆன்சர் ஹியர் இஸ் ஆக்சி செகண்ட் இஸ் ராங் இட் இஸ் இன் ஹிமாச்சல் பிரதேஷ் ஓகே நாட் இன் காஷ்மீர் பிகாஸ் ஐ நோ த ஆன்சர் ஐம் டெல்லிங் பட் ஈவன் ஐ டென் ரைட் த ஆன்சர் ப்ராப்பர்லி ஓகே ஃபைன் வில் கோ த நெக்ஸ்ட் கொஸ்டின் சி ஐ ஐ கன்க்ளூட் வாட் யூ ஷட் ரீட் டோன் வரி ஜஸ்ட் லிசன் ஓன்லி நோ ஓகே விச் ஆஃப் த ஃபாலோயிங் கிங்டம்ஸ் வெர் அசோசியேட் வித் த லைஃப் ஆஃப் புத்தா யா வெரி நைஸ் வேர் ஹி வாஸ் பார்ன் லும்பினி விச் விச் கிங்டம் அவந்தி இஸ் த ஒன்லி பிளேஸ் ஹிடன் கோ ஆக்சுவலி எல்லா மாச்சரமாக தான் போனார் கோசலா எங்கே செத்து போனார் Kushi Nagar in Magadha. Okay? Fine. So, answer is 3 and 4 is definitely correct. Gandhara is where? Pakistan, North West, almost Afghanistan. Gandhara is going to go. He was born here. Was he able to walk till there? So, actually, you have two elements. What happens? Two options goes off. And Avanti, if you know, you can write. Actually, at least 50% you can get the answer right. At least this, everyone should eliminate. Avanti is going to go. 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 அவந்தி போனாங்களா இல்லையான்னு நீங்க ஆன்சர் பண்ண நான் நான் நினைக்க மாட்டேன் பட் அட்லீஸ்ட் கந்தாரா எல்லாருமே எலிமினேட் பண்ணிருக்கணும் அவ்வளவு தூரம் கண்டிப்பா போக சான்ஸே கிடையாது ஸோ அது எலிமினேட் பண்ணா டூ ஆப்ஷன்ஸ் ஆர் கோயிங் ஆஃப் ஸோ ரெஸ்ட் டூல யூ கேன் அட்லீஸ்ட் டேக் அ கெஸ் யூ கெட்டிங் ஸோ ஆன்சர் ஆக்சுவலி இஸ் த்ரீ அண்ட் ஃபோர் ஓன்லி ஓகே ஃபைன் வில் கோ டு நெக்ஸ்ட் ஐல் ஷோ யூ ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் அபவுட் புத்திசம் ஜெனிசம் அண்ட் ஆல் ஓகே ஸோ வாட் வி ஷுட் ரீட் இன் புத்திசம் ஜெனிசம் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ட்ரெண்ட் வி ஹவ் காட் ஓகே என்னெல்லாம் படிக்கணும் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஹவு டி வி ஸ்டார்ட் so we should give more importance to the philosophy that is what we miss out in all classes ellarume nadathuvanga ana philosophy yarum understand panna mattum but questions edhil irundhu varudhu philosophy la irundhu so please do a wikipedia search very beautifully explain philosophy is there philosophy of philosophy of jainism philosophy of buddhism you have to read it for sure okay that is the first thing you have to do second okay life history of buddha and mahavira you should do where they were born where they died where did they attain nirvana where did they give the first sermon ரெண்டு கம்பேர் பண்ணி ஒரு சார்ட்டை எழுதி வச்சுக்கோங்க ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் வாட் இஸ் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அகெயின் ஹியர் ஆல்சோ யூ ஷுட் ரீட் அபவுட் த முத்ராஸ் ஹியர் புத்தாஸ் டென் முத்ராஸ் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஓகே ஸோ இது இல்லாமல் வாட் இஸ் மோர் ரிக்வயர்ட் அப்படின்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா புத்திசம்ல ஸோ த எயிட் ஃபோல் பாத் அந்த மிடில் பாத் ஆஃப் புத்திசம் அண்ட் த்ரீ நோபல் ட்ரூத் ஆஃப் ஜெயினிசம் அது மூணு என்ன இதில் எயிட் என்ன அதுவும் தெரிஞ்சுக்கணும் நீங்கள் ஓகே So, the, that is the philosophy of Andhra, but anyway, separate noting is needed. What are the three-fold path in Buddhism or the eight-fold path to unfold misery? That is very important. Okay. And the lastly, what you should read in Buddhism, Jainism, the final thing which we saw was that the monasteries. So, important monasteries. See, don't try to mug up everything. At least five, six monasteries. You just important Buddhist places of worship. If you go to India, you can go to India. You can go to India. You can go to India. At least eliminate the use of it. Okay, that's why Jainism is an NGR. Okay, so this is how you have to read Buddhism Jainism. And this is how questions are also coming. Okay, and, and what is more important than this is that in art and culture, Buddhist or monastic stupa, for example, Vihara stupa is not there, but that's not there, Sanchi stupa, Ashoka is not there, but anyway, we will see in architecture also. Buddhist architecture is also very important. We will see that in art and culture chapter. Okay, so you are clear with Buddhism Jainism? Okay, so okay. And last thing is that, in all these options what i am trying to say is that first eliminate then answer that is the only theory we are going to follow we are going to do the same next also okay so yeah maurya post maurya okay so which one of the following pairs does not form a part of the six systems of indian philosophy okay mimamsa la na philosophy you remember There are six philosophies, Mimamsa, Vedanta, Nyaya, Visheshika, okay, and Samakya, or Sankhya. So, actually, yoga is also philosophy. So, C is the answer, actually. Okay, so, what I am trying to say here is that, Indian philosophy will end up so many questions have come. So, all the schools of philosophy, all the six schools of philosophy is a very important thing. Adulama, what are the schools of philosophy which are against these six schools? Adulama, you know, Loka, Ekta, Kapalika, Buddhism, Jainism, all of them, Adulama, Adulama, which are anti-six systems. Now, India has six systems, and that's the only way to come from the 4. Okay, fine. What is Loka Ekta? Huh? Materialism, very beautiful. Eat, drink, make merry. Materialistic world is what we can see. So that is what is Loka Ekta. What is Kapalika? Any idea? It's okay, I don't want to teach you this. Just go back and read all these things, okay? So all the six philosophies, you should have a single liner, whatever 
இது வந்து இதெல்லாம் இதுலேயும் ஃபிலாசபியில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா யூ நீட் ஹவ் த கான்செப்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபிலாசபி ஆல்சோ ஐ ஷோ யூ வை ஓகே ஐ ஷோ இந்த நெக்ஸ்ட் யா சி திஸ் கொஷன் சாமக்கியா ஃபிலாசபியில் என்ன என்ன சொன்னாங்க ஆக்சுவலி ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் ரீட் த கொஷன் வில் சி இஃப் யூ கேன் ஆன்சர் வில் சி சாமக்கியா ஃபிலாசபி டஸ் நாட் அக்செப்ட் த தியரி ஆஃப் ரீபர்த் ஆர் டிரான்ஸ்மைக்ரேஷன் ஆஃப் சோல் டூ ஆர் ஃபால்ஸ் If you know the concept why all the religions emerged, we can know this. This is true or false? Just tell me that. See, for example, one thing is, Indian philosophy is all the theory of karma, birth, rebirth. So, that's why all the Jain, Loka, Ekta, all the developed. So, if this statement is true, why do you think Jainism and Buddhism? It's not true. You're getting it. So, all our Indian philosophies were based on the theory of rebirth only. Karma and rebirth. So, this is actually a false statement. Okay, second statement, see. Samkhya or Sankhya holds that it is a self-knowledge that leads to liberation and not any exterior influence or agent. True or false? Actually, Sankhya philosophy is basically knowledge philosophy. So, this is the concept of philosophy itself. So, second statement is true. Okay. I know it's very difficult for you to remember. Go back and read all the six philosophies. You will get the answer. But one more thing. What questions have not come here is that what I was expecting last year also is that to compare and contrast like the bhakti sufi movements with these philosophies you know idala ancient age la vanda religions and systems medieval age la enna vanchu not only the religion proper we had bhakti and sufi movements adukku idukku compare panni vechukonga say adi shankara adi shankara oda philosophy na yeah yeah you are correct uh, basically advaita nanu mono a dvaita that means non dualism நான் டியூவலிசம் ரெண்டு இல்ல ஒண்ணு தான் அப்படின்னு என்ன அர்த்தம் இந்த ரெண்டு ஒண்ணுனா என்ன எதை குறிக்கிறாங்க பிரம்மன் அண்ட் ஆத்மா ஓகே சோ வாட் ஹி சேஸ் ஆதிசங்கர் படி என்ன சோ பிரம்மன் ஆத்மா சேம் என்றார் அவரு ஓகே ஜஸ்ட் டெல் மி தட் ஐம் டெல்லிங் திஸ் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் டூ ஆர் ஃபால்ஸ் ஒன்லி டெல் மி பிரம்மா அண்ட் ஆத்மா ஆர் த சேம் அகார்டிங் டு ஆதிசங்கரா டூ ஆர் ஃபால்ஸ் ட்ரூ okay it is actually true so that is what he said but there is a slight difference what is the difference it is called maya okay so na adha adha super soul irukku adha god irukku number irukum rendu perume onnu dhaan irraru avaru renduthukku naduvula ore or process irukku enna na maya namu nalla kannu marikkiradhu or maya andha maya eppadi pokkuradhu by knowledge you should have the knowledge of vedas if you know vedas you will get to god abindraru so that is called knowledge pathway so basically it is almost similar to sankhya philosophy ஓகே ஸோ சங்கியா ஃபிலாசபிக்கும் ஆதி சங்கராக்கும் ஒரே டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அப்படின்னு பார்த்தீங்கன்னா பேசிக்கலி இந்த டைம் வந்து டியூலிசம் நான் டியூலிசம் பற்றி பேச மாட்டாங்க ஸோ ஆல்வேஸ் காட் ஆர் செப்பரேட் ஓன்லி ஆக்சுவலி வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஏன்ஷியன் ஸ்கூல்ஸில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஆல் சிக்ஸ் ஸ்கூல்ஸில் காட் இஸ் அ செப்பரேட் இண்டிவிஜுவல் தான் ட்ரீட் பண்ணியிருப்பாங்க யோ கெட்டிங் இட் ஸோ அதுக்கப்புறம் தான் இந்த ஃபியூச்சரில் தான் இதெல்லாம் மாறிச்சு கொஞ்சம் கொஞ்சமாக ஓகே ஸோ தட் இஸ் அ டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் பட் ஆல் அதர்ஸ் இந்த நாலேஜ் பார்த்தவே எல்லாமே இட்ஸ் சேம் அஸ் ஆதி சங்கரா ஸோ யூ கேன் கெட் அ கம்பேர் அண்ட் கான்ட்ராஸ்ட் கொஷின் லைக் தட் ஓகே fine so this is done we have to go back to one question we left right yeah see huin song or uh, like um, when did he come to india during the period of harsha okay very nice so avar varumbodhu inna ezhudnara india pathi romba perumai ezhudnara illa thappu thaan kuda ezhudnara perumai ezhudnara okay some areas he actually made a comment on india also like for example he was the roads and river were completely immune from robbery illa nariya theft irukku nu sonnaru avare oru thara thirita pattar avaru in south india varumbodhu avar kitta yara thiridittu poitanga avar bag la so actually first statement is wrong so if you eliminate the first statement itself you get the answer 2 and 3 only okay but whether this question is a difficult question or a easy question abdin kettingna if you take your ncert themes tool la first chapter na travelers so travelers pathi evlo detail la kuduthirukanga adha lende oru question da ketirukanga so that means whatever is being given in your ncert should be the prime focus adala irundha questions maximum varudhu adhe mari sankhya philosophy is definitely there in your uh, this thing your uh, ncert and uh, your obviously this schools adhaley vandirchu so what happens in maurya post maurya and gupta period la vandha pathinga if you talk about ashoka chandragupta adha mari reason irukla what we all focus is that ashoka ku appuram vandha yaar vandha ivarku appuram yaar vandha avaru enna pannaru enga sermon like so many things you keep reading but questions are not coming in that area எங்க கொஷின் வருதுன்னா அந்த டைம்ல இருக்க ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர்ல தான் கொஷின்ஸ் வந்துட்டு இருக்கு ஆர் தேர் ஃபிலாசபிஸ் 
மௌரியா போஸ்ட் மௌரியா இந்த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் எடுக்கும் போது வாட் யூ ஷுட் போக்கஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் தட் தேர் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் அசோகனா அவர் என்ன கட்டினார் வாட் வாஸ் இஸ் பில்டிங்ஸ் ஹி ஹஸ் மேட் ஓகே ஸோ பி இட் த அஜீவிகாக்காக அந்த கேவ் கொடுத்தது பராபர் கேவ்ஸ் ஆகட்டும் ஆர் லோமாஸ் ரிஷி கேவ்ஸ் திஸ் இஸ் ஆர் கொஷின்ஸ் ஆர் கம்மிங் பட் நாட் ஆன் அசோகா ஓகே வாட் இஸ் இஸ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் திஸ் திங் செகண்ட் திஸ் திங் தேர் நாட் ஆஸ்கிங் தட் மச் ஆன் திஸ் ஏரியாஸ் ஸோ ஐம் நாட் சிங்கர் தே ஆர் தே வில் நாட் ஆஸ்க் தேர் நாட் ஆஸ்கிங் அவ்வளோ சொல்கிறேன் ஸோ ஸோ வாட் யூ ஹட் ரூட் ரீட் இன் திஸ் ஏரியா ஃபர்ஸ்ட் இஸ் தட் த ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் மோர் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட்லி ஃபோக் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் அது ஃபோக்கில் என்ன பண்ணாங்க எந்த புக் எழுதுனாங்க எந்த ஃபிலாசபி டெவலப் ஆச்சு ஓகே ஸோ யூ கேன் கெட் அ கொஸ்டின் ஆன் மனு ஸ்மிருதி அண்ட் ஆல் ஏன்னா திஸ் ஆர் ஆல் ரிட்டன் ஆன் டூரிங் தட் பீரியட் ஸோ ஃபோக் ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் ஓன்லி யூ ஹவ் டு ஃபோக்கஸ் ஓகே அண்ட் செகண்ட் திங் திஸ் சிக்ஸ் ஸ்கூல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஃபிலாசபிஸ் ஓகே இட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆர் கம்மிங் அகேன் அண்ட் அகேன் அண்ட் லாஸ்ட் ஒன் இஸ் ட்ராவலர்ஸ் ஆல் த ட்ராவலர்ஸ் நீட்ஸ் டு பி ரெட் ஓகே ஸோ ட்ராவலர்ஸ் எப்படி படிக்க போறீங்க எக்ஸாக்ட்லி எந்த பீரியட்ல வந்தாருன்னு சொல்லிட்டு படிக்கணும் எந்தெந்த கோர்ட்டை விசிட் பண்ணாங்க எந்த பீரியட்ல வந்தாங்கன்னு சொல்லிட்டு அட்லீஸ்ட் ஃபைவ் சிக்ஸ் ட்ராவலர்ஸ் யூ ஷுட் ஆல் தி இம்பார்ட்டன் விச் இஸ் கிவன் இன் என்சிஆர்டிஸ் அவங்க வந்து அரேஞ்ச் த க்ரோனாலஜிக்கல் ஆர்டர் ஆஃப் த ட்ராவலர்ஸ் இன் இண்டியா யூ ஷுட் பி ஏபிள் டு அரேஞ்ச் ஹூ ஆஸ் த ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ட்ராவலர் ஹூ கேம் டு இண்டியா எனி ஐடியா ஃபார் இயர் முன்னாடி மை கெஸ்ட் இனிஸ் ஸோ ஃப்ரம் தேர் யூ ஷுட் ஸ்டார்ட் டோன்ட் ஸ்டார்ட் ஓன்லி ஃப்ரம் யுவர் ஃபார் இயர் ஹூயின்ஸ் ஆங் அலோன் ஃப்ரம் மை கெஸ்ட் இனிஸ் இட்ஸ் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் ஹீ ரோட் த புக் ஆல் இண்டிகா இண்டிகால் என்ன சொன்னார் அட்லீஸ்ட் ஃபியூ லைன்ஸ் ஆஃப் எவ்ரி திங் யூ ஷுட் நோ you getting it so this is how you are going to read your mauryan post mauryan okay so appo ingiyum pathina again pictures are very important you know art and culture is was is important here okay fine next so art and culture will go okay so can anyone guess this question this was a very difficult question actually but the answer is very simple yara che guess panna mudiyuma just try to guess the answer B. Any other answers? Any other answer? B. Why B? Om Karashar. Om Karashar Amarakantaka. Okay, what is the meaning of Amarakantaka? Untemple. 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 Anyone, any other guesses you can take? இங்க கோயில் போயிருந்தாவே போதும் ஆன்சர் எழுதார் ஓம் காரேஸ்வரர் எந்த கடவுளை சொல்லுவாங்க சிவனுக்கும் சன்னுக்கும் ஆர் போத் காட் சேமா சிவா இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் சன் காட் இஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட்ல ஸோ அங்கே எளிமை பண்ணவே கேட் த ஆன்சர் ஆக்சுவலி ஒன் ஒன்லி இஸ் த ஆன்சர் த திங் இஸ் யூ ஷு நாட் நோ ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் யூ நீட் டு ஹாவ் சம் பேசிக் நாலேஜ் ஓம் காரேஸ்வரனா எல்லாருக்குமே தெரியும் சிவன் ஓம் ஸோ ஆப்வியஸ்லி தட் இஸ் நாட் அ சன் டெம்பிள் யூ கெட் த ஆன்சர் டேரக்ட்லி பட் even me miss that and on the exam pressure you definitely tend to miss but what i learned from this is that even if you don't know art and culture you can write that is what it's again telling you appo enna solranga na upsc wants people who are intelligent not people who are too much of mugging up and coming up they want intelligent people who can take intelligent guesses also kandipa idala yaralaye padichittu povamudiyadu so ana adu mari padikada question unda you should be happy try to make a inter- knowledgeable guess and you will get it right also okay fine we'll go to the next question we'll see okay so we already saw that sorry okay yeah okay this is also little easy only you can answer which era okay edu vandu was made the earliest in the period was earliest nu sollanum okay lingaraja temple at bhuvaneshwar epo in the period la vanchi so obviously it's a temple apanave gupta or post gupta period ena temple started from there only okay ராக்கெட் மானிமெண்ட் மகாபலிபுரம் யாரு பல்லாவாஸ் டியூரிங் செவன் சென்ச்சுரி ஸோ செவன் சென்ச்சுரி ராக்கெட் அட் டவுலி டியூரிங் அசோகா ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் பிசி செகண்ட் சென்ச்சுரி பிசி இட் செல்ஃப் ஓகே வராஹா இமேஜ் வராஹா ஆக்சுவலி இட்ஸ் அ காட் தே ஸ்டார்ட் வர்ஷிப்பிங் காட் எப்போ இது மாதிரி பெயிண்ட் பண்ணி இல்லை பண்ணும் போது இட் ஆல் ஸ்டார்ட் டியூரிங் குப்தா பீரியட் ஓன்லி ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் ஆல்சோ குமார குப்தா பீரியட் so obviously with just a little knowledge you can get but obviously rocket culture at uh, at the only important so idu vandu actually you need some knowledge at least exact period theriyala temple epo vanduchuna che theriyum ungalku okay so adanal vandu basics of this thing but when will you get is that you read multiple times then only you will understand okay so ipo vandu pathina south indian temples first vancha north indian temples first vancha okay obviously north indian temple guptan 
Okay, Panjayat and style temple number 16 at this place you would have read. Na? So, all these ancient temples are very important. It is there in your Nithin Singhania, the temple architecture, la, stages of temple architecture. Please, it is a big area, but please read it very thoroughly. Temple architecture is very important. Class is Romana Arthur Bangala, temple architecture. So, that is very important. That is why we focus on that also. So, Anna, I would say that because it is very important, please read Nithin Singhania also. And whatever it is, Nithin Singhania, art and culture, la, at least the architecture, first chapter is very, very important. Okay, we will go to the next. Okay. Consider the following historical places. Which of the following is new, known for mural paintings? Mural na? Wall paintings. Ajanta ke wall painting irka? Okay. Lepakshi temple? Okay. Lepakshi temple enge irka? Okay. I know you have not read up oh, themes to inu padikla nanikira. Themes tool on the pathikna. Innoor area enge first is travelers of focus pandi rikanga. Innoor area enge themes tool nariya question on focus pandi rikanga na book la Vijayanagar empire. There is a separate chapter on Vijayanagar empire. So, we have got main questions also on Vijayanagar Empire and we have Lepakshi temple also in Vijayanagar Empire. So, this temple is known for mural paintings. Sanchi stupala mural rika? So, it is very, like that time the stupa star didn't come, like stupas were just stupa architecture, paintings were not there. So, obviously three is not there, So, but it is difficult to answer, but one and two is the answer. But again, it is there directly from your NCRT only, nothing more than that, okay. Okay, next. Yeah. This is also very easy to answer. The caves at Badami are the oldest surviving rock caves in India. Correct? Are there any caves here? Okay, obviously next answer is Barabara. Okay. Badami are in the period? Chalukyas. Chalukyas were during? 7th and 8th century. That time. At least approximately you remember. Don't, I don't want the exact dates. Are the Chalukyas first or Pallavas first or Pallavas? Okay, if you know a little bit of art and culture, you can answer this also. Okay, so Pallavala on the main on the Patina, Kanjipuram temple is very famous for them, right? So on the Kanjipuram temple, they build this Watapi temples, okay, in uh, this Badami area, okay. So on the Badami temple, Ellorala Krishna temple, Sri Krishna built one temple, uh, Lingaraja temple, right? Ellorala one temple, rikla, rock cut temple is there. That's why they copy it. Abdina and Arthona, Pallavas were there, they were defeated by Chalukyas and their architecture was taken. Next to one, the, the Rashtakudas were there, they defeated and they took the architecture. So, this is the chronology also. So, a little bit of your art and culture, if you know, you can get it. Okay. So, actually, Padana Kanjiburam temple of Padana, this Badami la copy Padana. Badami copy Padana, Elora was copied. The same architecture carried over. Okay. So, fine. So, in a first statement is wrong, definitely. See the second statement. The Barabar rocket caves were originally made up for Ajivikas. Correct? By Ashoka. Very beautiful. So, second segment is wrong. So, third, at Elora, caves were made for different faiths. That is true. In another faith, Laranchi, Elora? Hinduism, Buddhism? Buddhism. Ajantala? Only Buddhism. Not mainly. Only Buddhism. Is there any caves for Christianity in India? Okay. See, caves in India is very important. There is a separate chapter in Nithin Singhania. There is one Christian caves actually in Mumbai. Okay. Uh, I forgot the name, I am sorry. It comes with Mandapeshwara Caves, I think. Okay, just go and check once. Mandapeshwara Caves in Mumbai is the Christian Caves. But Anna, are the truly Christian caves. Earlier it was a Buddhist cave. When Christian missionaries occupied, they destroyed and made into a Christian cave. So, Christians also have a cave in India. Does Islam religion have cave? They don't have caves. Okay, so does Hindu religion have caves? Obviously, Ajanta Elora itself. So, question can come like this only. So, Islamic caves are there or not? If you question, you can analytical. So, but just be careful with that. So, Islam religion is actually cave. But, the religion is cave. Jainism is cave. Any example in South India? Shavana Miracle. Tamil Nadu? Patatakala. Chitana Vasal. Very good. So, you have caves. So, just what I am trying to say is that caves in India is an important topic. There are some 16 important caves in ancient history. Ella 16 may in Nithin Singh just make a note of it separately because caves questions are very important. Okay, we will go to the next. Okay. So, yeah. So, just make a note for art and culture strategy. Okay. So, art and culture can you do? First, finish your class. See, art and culture is where all questions come. Mainstream, art and culture only questions come. So, you cannot miss it. So, art and culture, first, your class notes should be completed. Second is NCRTs. So, either end up, 
your most of the questions are getting answered new ncrt alone i'm not talking about old ncrt alone. don't break your head with old ncrts if you already read now okay don't take it newly and do it okay new ncrt is enough themes one themes two is enough okay next step is nathan singhania so nathan singhania it's a, again a huge book but how to read that is what matters i'll just show you one example what i have done okay i just brought you my notes okay See, this is my notes okay i just wanted to show you is it clear huh? see for example there are separate separate chapters festivals kaga chapter irukku caves kaga chapter irukku puppetry kaga chapter irukku for everything there is separate so but questions have not come but we don't know when it will come but what maximum you can do is that you cannot do the entire chapter at least one one line for everything for example spring festival na ivula two lines eduthirpen so i'll show you a few examples how i i have taken my notes okay say for example this is festivals in north east so losar festival i don't take all the festivals also enak edala pudichiruko adha matta select panipen okay ena because therapy humanly impossible if you read all the festivals you will definitely forget i think something is better than nothing ellame padichu ellame marakkuradoda at least few things which two or three lines you make a note this is my own handmade notes actually for your art and culture okay then for example okay what are the unesco sites okay unesco sites la vandute what are the dances are there i have just made the in the dance in the state la i have made into state wise all the folk dances gujarat na idu rendu so i used to memorize like this only if you ask something inside this dance garba dance na enak kandipa theriyadhu enak yena if you start doing that again it goes off but doesn't singer la apdi dhan kuduthirupanga paragraph paragraph but one thing what you can do is that at least this belongs to that state i la nachu nam identify panna mudiyum at least it will help in elimination so don't overdo things do the basics first that is what i am trying to say okay next see orthodox schools yeah the schools are very important so you should have a very dear say samakya school you should have what are the points in that yoga school yaar find panna avanga philosophy enna nyaya school so what is the philosophy who did that and what is the concept of god and universe here for everything the philosophy should be there so this is how you should prepare the schools of thought okay say for you just take nyaya school na logical thinking to attain the salvation real knowledge acquiring is uh, most in uh, most important is avada avanga concept so god created this universe and he will sustain and destroy it so this is the philosophy there apana god they believe in god and they also believe in the theory of rebirth here who did this nyaya school by gautama so logical tools nanada basically vandha patha enna nalla logical na just by hearing listening your self away ninga kandi pidichikalam you can attain salvation solradha idu you don't want knowledge and all you just hear think and analyze other way you can attain salvation this is the entire concept so idu mari you should make three three lines concept for every schools so that edukaga solrona ninga ethin daro padicha marandrom idala so last minute revision ki you need small notes for this so you should make like this okay next see caves in india i told see 1 2 3 4 5 so at least where are they mandapeshwar caves na enga irukku junagar caves na enga aramamalai caves na enga irukku tn velur it's a jain cave or not so basically caves what you can do is where is the cave which religion the cave belongs what age approximately in the period la vandhuchu nu solittu approximate age la vechirundinga it will be easy for you to analyze the question so caves in india you can do like this next so yeah puppetry so puppetry pathina four part of puppetry irukku string puppetry glow puppetry rod puppetry all these things are there so string puppet na there are three so basically two two lines for each so you should have a make one one page la your puppetry should be over one page la theater form should be over you start making it now only illa ninga exam varaiku nitin singhanale padikka poringa enna aguna you will get fear only during the exam so everything should be converted into notes form i have an entire nitin singh neoda my own notes in some 60 pages i have so i'll read that only for my exam ena avala nyam vechukka mudiyum nammala adukku mela mudiyadu so try to make such notes okay this is just a model of my notes okay okay so your art and culture first is your class notes always class notes are the first in ancient modern ellathukume second is your ncrt themes one themes two third is nitin singh ane but nitin singh ane enga focus panna poringa is very important first is architecture entire architecture is important second is the unesco unesco monuments are kadum illa heritage are kadum okay so unesco list is very very important okay and the unesco list la irukalla each and every name say for example chow dance are kadum you should know detailed about all these things at least that 17 list la vara ellame you should know detail chow dance na enga practice pandranga eppadi practice pandranga 
you should know in details about you can single one word line da kuduthirupanga but you need to google and take it out what does it mean where they follow how do they follow ellame theriyum ungalku at least two two three images patha ungalku purinjirum adu enna nu okay so this is the next third one pathina you come to music and dance okay dance la vandu pathina obviously on class notes le classical dance la cover panirupanga folk dances oru la cover panirupanga so you focus more on classical dances okay that is what is more important okay folk dance enna panna poringa maximum what you can do is at least which state it belongs to avladha don't overdo things if you find something very interesting if for example pani hari nu irukku nu vechukonga basically it is in rajasthan yeah rajasthan la rajasthan la ladies will go and fetch water for a long distance varumbodhu paadikite varuvanga adha pani hari so idhu mari link panna mudinja and center vechi link panna try pannunga you getting it and serpent dance serpent dance and basically it will be in madhya pradesh na anga tribes irukanga and mari i should i'll have some clues idha vechi na i'll just i'll have my own clues it will be illogical also sometimes but somehow you have to remember it adu unga ishtathuk epdi vena pannikonga okay next uh, dance is over right music music yeah next music okay music la vandu pathina again you need to know the entire concept of uh, hindustani and carnatic music okay you need to know ragana and talana and okay everything you should know ஓகே ஏன்னா கேட்டாங்கன்னா மியூசிக்ல இருந்து கார்நாட்டிக் ஆர் ஹிந்துஸ்தானில் தான் மேக்ஸிமம் சான்சஸ் இருக்கு ஓகே ஸோ அதுவும் ஹிந்துஸ்தானில் வாட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆர் கம்மிங் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நாட் இன் யூபிஎஸ்சி தேவ் ஆஸ்ட் பட் ஆல் யூர் மாடல் பேப்பர்ஸ்ல வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா தி கசல் மியூசிக் ஓகே கையால் நான் என்ன ஸோ ஆல் தீஸ் மாடர்ன் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிந்துஸ்தானி மியூசிக்ஸ் ஹாவ் பின் ஆஸ்ட் ஓகே ஸோ ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வாட் யூ ஷெட் நீட் கார்நாட்டிக்னா என்ன ஹிந்துஸ்தானா என்ன என்ன அண்ட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் ஆஃப் ஹிந்துஸ்தானி இஸ் ஆல்சோ வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் லைக் கசல் ஹூ இன்வென்டட் கசல் Amir Khosro. So, at least 2-3 lines about Ghazal in the, uh, all these things you should know. Okay. Karnatic forms are there. Karnatic or Hindustani music in a major difference? Music was taught in class or not? No, music was not taught. Okay. See, it's not very, very difficult at all. go back to nitin singh there's one table first edutone and first table padicha porichirom basically carnatic music la undu pathinga vechukonga it's very strictly followed rules are there so many rules are there adu sari gama na in the storm la in the pattern la da padanum in the time la da start padanum even carnatic music la in the time la da padanum kuda irundhuchu ippo da nam epa vena paadi irukom first and the kala evening la matum da padanum carnatic music it's very strictly regulated so many books on there on carnatic music so adala forms are maarave illa carnatic music eppadi irundhuchu and the kala la adhe da iniki paadi irukom konja kuda maarave matrom பட் ஹிந்துஸ்தானில் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் தர் இஸ் நாட் ஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் ரூல்ஸ்லாம் இல்லை ஸோ அவங்க அவங்க வந்து இம்ப்ரூவைஸ் பண்ணிகிட்டே இருந்தாங்க ஸோ இவர் வந்து இப்படி பண்ணனா இது ஒரு ஸ்டைலாக மாறிடும் நெக்ஸ்ட் ஆள் வந்து ஒன்று பண்ணனா ஒன் மோர் ஸ்டைல் வெல்கம் ஸோ இட் வாஸ் இவால்விங் ஸோ மச் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா ஹிந்துஸ்தி மியூசிக் இஸ் அ லூஸ் மியூசிக் ஏன்னா வந்து இட் வாஸ் தேர் ஆல் ஓவர் இந்தியா பட் கர்நாடிக் ஒன்லி சவுத் இந்தியாவில் இன்னும் ஸ்ட்ரிக்டாக என்ஃபோர்ஸ் பண்ணிட்டு இருந்தாங்க அதை மேஜர் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அண்ட் செகண்ட் திங் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா கர்நாடிக் மியூசிக்ல வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா வோக்கல்ஸ் இட்ஸ் வெரி வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் இன்ஸ்ட்ருமெண்ட்ஸ் இருக்கும் பட் ஆனால் பாடுறவங்கள மட்டும் தான் ரொம்ப நிறையா பார்ப்போம் நம்ம பட் அதே ஹிந்துஸ்தானி மியூசிக் எடுத்துக்கிட்டிங்கன்னா ரெண்டுமே ஈக்குவல் இம்பார்ட்டன்ஸ் கொடுத்துருப்பாங்க பாடுறதும் இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் மியூசிக்கும் இம்பார்ட்டன் நீங்களே பார்த்துருப்பீங்க நார்த் இந்தியாவில் இந்த டான்ஸ் அவர் பாடுறதா இருக்கட்டும் ஆல் வில் பி ஈக்குவல் ஈவன் ஈக்குவல் பியூரிட்டி பட் கர்நாடிக்கில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சைடில் ஒரு கார்னரில் உட்கார வச்சிருவாங்க அவங்களாம் மற்றவங்கள கர்நாடிக் பாடுறவங்க மட்டும் தான் சென்டரில் உட்காந்துருப்பாங்க ஸோ திஸ் இஸ் த மேஜர் டிஃப்ரென்ஸ் அதர் டிஃப்ரென்சஸ் யூ ஜஸ்ட் கோ பேக் டு யோர் டேபிள் ஜஸ்ட் ஒன் டேபிள் இஸ் தர் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன் டேபிள் ஜஸ்ட் கோ ரீட் தட் இன் யோர் நித்தன் சிங் அனே and read the definitions what is raga what is tala okay adala neenga paathukonga same thing i forgot to tell in dance also what is nritha nritya natya difference theriyuma okay nritha n r i t t a one more thing she even i have forgot okay i'm sorry one one thing na how the dance i forgot nritha natya just see the google only you will get it in the moon word ka enna definition in music la und raga thala na enna definition solli theriyum okay this is about your music and again folk songs la und pathina which state nu motta map panna podum okay avala da panna mudiyum okay so coming to theater forms theater forms enna padikanum okay basically oldest theater forms enga irundhuchu adu mattum neenga kandipa kind of padichaavanu it started from the usually from the cave time lende theater was there nu solittu starting la start panni paakinga idhula intensive ganela and second thing is that sanskrit theaters are very important okay 
especially your UNESCO recognized status are very important. Okay, that Kudi Atam, all these things are very important. So, Sanskrit data la focus on it. Okay, that much only you can do in theatre forms. Okay, so puppetry, all four puppetry only are there. At least in the state, in a puppetry, at least that much you should map about puppetry. Okay, then uh, what else is there in Tenzing Anya? Importantly. Yeah, even in Nithin Singh, Jainism, Buddhism and all is described. Okay, so Adhume, Jainism, Buddhism, Idhili, and last is um, the capital, Delhi, what are the different cities built in Delhi? That is important for your medieval history, not for this test. For the next test, we will discuss about that. Okay, so for this test, leave the Delhi part, the remaining part you can do it now. Okay, but what I am trying to say here is that when you are reading Nithin Singh, you can read the notes in the side. You can read the notes in Anyway, you will forget. So, even if you are reading only three chapters, but on the three chapters, notes are good. And one more thing, don't make notes for your architecture chapter. That way, 100 pages are good. And obviously, that would have been covered already in class. That's three time waste. So, at least for this dance forms, puppetry, other class notes, you should always make. This should be the strategy. Okay. So, now we'll just go. I want to do the final thing. So, we'll come to 2019 question paper. I discussed till 2018. Okay. So, we'll see whether you can answer 2019. Okay. So now, so in the strategy, like work out the number check one more. All of them. Okay. So in in our strategy, Harappan sites was there, right? So if you have done that, you would have got this correct. So basically, the already one of the question paper, there will be very much catered question. So what is the answer here? So C. Okay, fine. So I'm not going to answer how or not. You can read it. Okay. So but another very important thing, one of the things that in your themes, one of the things, in your Vedic period, there is a image of copper plates in your Vedic period. So at least in the Vedic period, you can answer the question. So if you see the images again, you can answer the question. So 2019 is on the paper. Okay. Next. So basically this was a difficult question, it is a very difficult question, only thing was that this was in current affairs actually, this was discovered in 2018, that is why it came in 2019, but I will not expect you to answer, so one question you could answer, one you cannot answer, we will go to the next question. So answer here is Kangana Halli, basically I know it is Karnataka, so Halli in Varun Mata Thiriyo, other which is the answer, but this was given uh, like the last page of Hindu Leo, so it is very important, okay, next, yeah, so can you guess this? If you know about Gupta period, you can guess this. Okay, Gupta period is called as a golden age. Was it really golden age? So this is the analytical question means you will get. But why it was not a golden age? Should there reason? The caste system first of all originated here only. Basically, the Brahminical domination. All my tripping originated under the So that is why it's not a golden age. You can And moreover, the economy was also failing during Gupta. Okay, post Gupta the tripping revive was So all these things can be done. But that is for your means. You could have done in your class notes. But here. C statement you can focus. The forced labor was entitled to weekly wages. This will be correct or false? Forced labor na first wages ekudu kuma taangula. Adi meya achir paanga. So weekly wages ekudu kuma taangula. So this could be easily guessed. Sec D statement. True or false? It could be true or false. Just tell me. Just guess. It could be true or false. So mostly false. You know, it was based on caste. It is not eldest son of the entire family. So if you can guess, you can find. Okay. Third statement, B statement. It was totally absent in Madhya Pradesh and Kathiawar region. So Gupta Empire map port or pingla. Where is Gupta Empire? Almost UP, Bihar, Madhya Pradesh and the area. Correct? So that was the area of Gupta period. 
ஸோ அப்போ மத்திய பிரதேஷில் மட்டும் ஃபோர்ஸ் லேபர் ஆப்சென்டாக இருந்துச்சு ட்ரூ ஆர் ஃபால்ஸ் ஸோ குப்தா பீரியில் ஃபோர்ஸ் லேபர் ஆரிஜினேட் ஆனது அப்போ தான் எப்படி ஒரு ரீஜனில் மட்டும் இல்லாமல் இருக்கலாம் ஸோ யூ கேன் யூ கேன் ஹவ் கெஸ்ட் ஆல்சோ பட் ஐ வில் நாட் சே தட் யூ ஆல்வேஸ் ஹவ் டு டேக் த கெஸ்ட் பட் த ஆன்சர் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஏ பட் ஒன்லி திங் இஸ் தட் இப்போ இந்த கொஸ்டின் நீங்கள் எதில் வந்து சார் படிக்க முடியும் அப்படின்னு கேட்டிங்கன்னா சி even if you read the highest book in gupta period it is not possible to answer this question and second thing what you have to remember is that ungalku matta tough kadaiyad ellarkum tough da in the question that is second thing and third thing is that if you understand what gupta period meant apdi solreenga na avangala philosophy avangala concept eduthu vandinga at least you can eliminate op- options at least what you could have done is kandipa c and d could have been eliminated and a and b lo or guess adichirukalam okay so this is how you could have answered this question we'll go to the next question we'll see ஓகே மகா என்ன புத்திசம் என்ன ஸோ பேசிக்லி லைக் இட் இஸ் மோர் ஆஃப் லிபரல் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் புத்திசம் ஹீனியானா இஸ் வெரி ஸ்ட்ரிக்ட் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் புத்திசம்ல ரொம்ப ஸ்ட்ரிக்டாக ஃபாலோ பண்ணுவாங்க மகா என்ன இஸ் லிபரல் ஃபார்ம் அதை தெரிஞ்சாவே போதும் இந்த கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர் பண்ணலாம் ஓகே ஸோ ஈவன் இஃப் யூ டோன் அதுன்னு வச்சுக்கோங்களேன் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் என்ன டேட்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் புத்தனா என்ன இமேஜ் வர்ஷிப் புத்தாவை இமேஜாக வைக்க ஆரம்பிச்சாங்க சி ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் என்ன இமேஜ் வர்ஷிப் அண்ட் ரிச்சுவல்ஸ் ஸோ ஒன்று இருந்தால் த்ரீ இருக்கணும் கண்டிப்பாக டெஃபினட் கரெக்டாக ஸோ ஆன்சர் ஆன்சர் பாருங்களேன் ஒன்லி ஒன் ஆப்ஷன் தான் இருக்குது நீங்கள் புத்திசமே தெரிய தேவையில் இருக்குது ஸோ தட் இஸ் ஹவு தேவர் ஆஸ்கிங் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஸோ அவுட் ஆஃப் ஃபோர் யூ கேன் ஈஸிலி ஆன்சர் டூ ஓகே யா ஸோ திஸ் வாஸ் த டூ தௌசண்ட் நைன்டீன் கொஸ்டின் பேப்பர் பட் வாட் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு சே ஹியர் இஸ் தட் வாட் ஐம் ட்ரைங் டு ப்ரூவ் ஹியர் இஸ் தட் டிஃபிகல்ட் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆர் வெரி டிஃபிகல்ட் easy questions are very easy okay that is how the trend has been for the past 7 years 2012 lende paathirukku ella question me so appo ninga enna da pannunga easiest matta complete pannu ponga difficult don't worry about it please leave it and come that's what i would suggest you see almost your pass mark is 50% okay if you can score 50% in art and culture i think you will definitely clear ena history polity la you can score up to 90% correct also 80% because questions are standard there idha varum idha varum But here you cannot read and keep reading so many books also. So what I am trying to say is that limit your sources here. So whatever I have told you only first to do it. That is the only time you have to do it extra. But I will not suggest you to do that also. But at least this minimum you do, you can answer 50% of the questions. And apart from that what is needed is that logical thinking. In art and culture most of the questions come from logical thinking. But now one warning I will tell you. When you take our institutions question paper, you will see UPSC standards are set up. You will be set up and set up. That is a lot of logical thinking. But in the UPSC it will definitely work. Don't worry about it. But for your practice, we will give only tough questions here. So don't get disheartened. You will be afraid of this. 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 You prepare for UPSC only. Take this as a test only. You are getting? So, but what is minimum has to be done. ஆர்ட் அண்ட் கல்ச்சர் இதில் ஏன்ஜின் ஹிஸ்ட்ரியில் என்சிஆர்டி படிக்காமல் நோ ஒன் ஷுட் என்டர் த எக்ஸாம் ஃபார் தட் இஸ் அ ஒன்லி ஃபைனல் திங் அண்ட் யுவர் கிளாஸ் நோட்ஸ் அப்பார்ட் ஃப்ரம் தட் வாட் எவர் ஸ்பெசிஃபிக் ஏரியா இன் நித்தின் சிங்கானே யூ டூ இட் அண்ட் கம் ஓகே திஸ் இஸ் த கான்செப்ட் ஃபார் ஹியர் ஸோ வில் கோ டு திஸ் இயர் புக் ஓகே யூ ஹாவ் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் டூரிசம் ஹியர் சி அகெயின் கல்ச்சர் அண்ட் டூரிசம் இயர் புக் எதில் படிக்கிறீங்க நீங்கள் ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ ஹாவ் இயர் புக்ஸா ம் இந்தியா இயர் புக் யூ ஹாவ் ஓகே ஐ டெல் யூ திஸ் இஸ் மை ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜி அகெயின் தட் புக் இஸ் ஸோ பிக் definitely you will not be able to complete there is something called as gist of india your book from gs core okay 50 50 pages total 100 pages i used to read that only and questions are almost from that only so if you are not able to read that big book please don't waste time and it is not worthy of investing so much time ninga 700 pages padichu ore question varum adha and you cannot remember also so i would suggest you go and download gist of india your book from gs core website okay gist of india your book from gs core website So, in that case, in the culture and tourism, it's just a three-page chapter. Three or four pages. That's the first thing to say. Okay? And uh, this is the recent developments, current affairs related to tourism in the moon scheme. So, they can ask anything. Prasad line and site trick, Rizal line and site trick. So, they can mix and match. Okay? Just read about these three schemes alone. Okay? And uh, what else can be asked in the culture and tourism? Academies. Like Sangeet Natak Academy. கலாஷேத்ரா அகாடமிஸ் அது மாதிரி அதில் எந்த மினிஸ்ட்ரி கீழே வருது யார் ஹெட் பண்ணுறாங்க பட் திஸ் வில் பி தேர் இன் யுவர் ஜிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா இயர் புக்கில் இருக்குது அகாடமிஸ் ஸோ ரீட் அபவுட் தட் ஆல்சோ பிகாஸ் கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆர் கமிங் ஃப்ரம் தேர் ஓன்லி ஓகே ஃபைன் நெக்ஸ்ட் யா யுவர் மேப் 
of North Asia is there in your syllabus. Okay. So map reading is over for you. Huh? Okay. One more thing is that map on the Patina always current affairs based on the Kigaran questions. So, but what is there in current affairs always in Patina Chungla? Asia la Patina, because we are going to talk about only North Asia. Okay. North Asia la, the Central Asia is very important. If you take your question paper in Patina, last 3 4 years away, questions are in and around this region only. Either Middle East or Central Asia. Now, the questions are in the Syria is always in news, ISI is in news. So, in Central Asia, we have so many packs, we have soft power going on. In international relations, Central Asia is very important for India. So, the questions also will be dominated here only. Russia, obviously, IR question is a map based question because it is a barren landmark. We have to options. So, okay. Central Asia, sir, what we should read? All the countries with their capitals. Okay. So, what are the five Central Asian countries? With their capitals. Why capitals is more important? Kazakhstan is not a capital. Any idea? Astana. 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 Now it is changed to Noor Sultan. So it is in current affairs. So you can expect a question on Kazakhstan this year. Okay. Now it is Noor Sultan. Okay. Then it is renamed. So Kazakhstan is boundaries in Okay. Arrange the capitals from north to south or south to north. Kekla. So all the five countries with their boundaries. Okay. So does India have any contact with any Central Asian country directly? Hmm? Okay, so we don't have contact with Central Asian. Afghanistan, we you have? <laughs> okay, Afghanistan by actually by map we have. Reality la kadaya na mukita. Map la rukhe. Ebrir ke? Yana Pakistan occupied Kashmir belongs to India actually. Okay. And the Pak Pak erun chena we have connection with uh, Afghanistan. But if a question is asked, na, data is in the controversial area like Kekamatanga. But what can be asked is that this area is called as Wakan Corridor. The part which actually touches India from Afghanistan, this part is called as Wakan Corridor. Okay. So, either in Keka, only high chances are there, this area. Okay. So, all the capitals, all these things. And apart from that, the Caspian Sea, what are boundaries? Caspian Sea, RLC. So, these are the boundaries. In a country's border, we should definitely know. Many questions are coming from this. Caspian Sea, two times questions on this. Okay? Fine. So, next to what you should do is the mountain ranges. RLs, all these mountain ranges you should know. At least north to south arrange. Don't exactly see which country it is going on. Very difficult. At least north, either the mountains north or south. Okay, where is Hindu Kush mountains, where is Pamir not? At least locate the mountains where it is. Okay, and the last what you should do is reverse. Okay. Reverse of Asia is very, very important. Okay. So, this is what I was asking you. So, Caspian Sea or the boundaries. Okay, your RLC or the boundaries, rent the country. Nah? Okay, and all your capitals, where is Nur Sultan? You locate all the countries from north to south, you make a list and keep. Okay, then last is reverse. Reverse is also from north to south, you should know. See, basically, this is important. Where is Amu Darya, Sir Darya, Enga drain? That is important. Ha? Most important reverse alone, you know. But apart from that, there are a lot of rivers in China. Okay, from north to south. Okay, like. Amur river which borders China and uh, Russia. You have Elo river, you have Huangho river. Every river is there. So, Yangtze is there. So, either the north to south up to Ganges you trace. Okay, because we have Mekong here, Irrawaddy here. You are getting it. Yella river may at least order from north to south, east to west. You should know. So, questions varala, but varala is why because rivers are always in the news only. Okay, fine. So, this is how you are going to prepare the map based questions. So, but map based questions, what is a strategy to prepare? Abhina? Always whenever you read something in current affairs, you need to look at it. Or any article, okay, Kazakhstan Pati or article on China, you should always open Kazakhstan and see what countries are behind that. You need to reinforce the map. You need to reinforce multiple times. Okay. But only one thing what you can do is that when you are reading for map based question, always make a diagram and then read the map. For example, Kazakhstan, na, Kazakhstan in Pakistan in the Pakistan Turkmenistan rukke, Uzbekistan connect aga adhen ani thiri no, Tajikistan inger kun thiri no. At least you should make a block based diagram like this. Okay, if it is RLC na, 
ஓகே மேலே வந்துட்டு திஸ் கண்ட்ரி இஸ் தர் திஸ் கண்ட்ரி இஸ் தர் டூ கண்ட்ரிஸ் கஜகஸ்தான் அண்ட் ட்ருக்மெனிஸ்தான் இஸ் தர் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு அவ்வளோ தான் தெரியும் எனக்கு ஸோ ஆல்வேஸ் மேக் அ டயக்ராமெட்டிக் ரெப்ரசன்டேஷன் அண்ட் ரீட் மேப்ஸ் ஸோ அப்போ தான் உங்களுக்கு மனசில் படியும் இல்லைனா இட் வில் நாட் கம் அப் ஸோ திஸ் ஹவ் யூ ஷூட் ரீட் மேப் ஓகே ஃபைன் ஸோ வில் டேக் அ ஃபைவ் மினிட் பிரேக் அண்ட் ஹெல் ஹெல் கண்டினியூ வித் த கரண்ட் அஃபேர் செக்ஷன் ஓகே அண்ட் இஸ் இட் கிளியர் எனி அதர் டவுட்ஸ் அதர் ஹவு டு ரீட் யா ஸ்டேட்ஸ் யா ஸ்டேட்ஸ் வந்து பார்த்தீங்கன்னா அகெயின் இன் யோர் இந்தியா யோர் புக்கில் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் இருக்குல்ல எவ்ரி ஸ்டேட் வில் ஹவ் ஒன் பேஜ் அவுட் ஆஃப் இட் ஜஸ்ட் ரீட் தட் பட் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆல் இஸ் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் ஓன்லி பேசிக்லி கொஷின்ஸ் கம் ஃப்ரம் யோர் கரண்ட் அஃபேர்ஸ் மேக்சிம் அந்த அந்த மந்த்துக்கு நீங்கள் மேக்சிம் படிக்கிறீங்களா அதில் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் என்ன வரும் அதை மட்டும் ஃபோக்கஸ் பண்ணால் போதும் பட் ஃபார் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி இட்ஸ் அ வெரி குட் கொஷின் இந்த ஜிஸ்ட் ஆஃப் இந்தியா யோர் புக் இருக்குல்ல அதில் ஸ்டேட்ஸ் கிடையாது ஆக்சுவலி ஸோ ஸ்டேட்ஸ் டாபிக் மட்டும் யூ நீட் டு ரீட் ஃப்ரம் யோர் திஸ் திங் இந்தியா யோர் புக் டேரக்ட்லி இந்த ஒரிஜினல் இந்தியா யோர் புக் ஓகே ஃபைன் ஸோ தட்ஸ் இட் ஃபார் யோர் ப்ரிப்ரேஷன் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி ஐம் அகெயின் டெல்லிங் யூ டோன்ட் சர்ச் ஃபார் சோர்சஸ் இது படிக்கலாம் அது படிக்கலாமா அந்த டவுட்லாம் இன்னையோட முடிஞ்சிருக்கும் இதுக்கப்புறமா நீங்கள் தேடிகிட்டே இருந்தீங்க வச்சுக்கோங்க புது புக் வருது வாஜிராமில் இந்த மெட்டீரியல் ரிலீஸ் பண்ணாங்க விஷன்ல இந்த மெட்டீரியல் ரிலீஸ் பண்ணாங்க இஃப் யூ ஸ்டார்ட் சர்ச்சிங் ஃபார் மெட்டீரியல்ஸ்னா யூ வில் நாட் பாஸ் திஸ் எக்ஸாம் ஸோ ஸ்டாப் த சோர்சஸ் வாட் எவர் யூ ஹவ் இட்ஸ் மோர் தன் என் ஃபஸ்ட் பிலீவ் இன் யோர் செல்ஃப் யூ சா த கொஷின்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ஃபஸ்ட் பிலீவ் இன் யோர் செல்ஃப் அண்ட் யூ கேன் டூ இட் ஓகே ஃபைன் பட் ஒன்லி திங் இஸ் தட் வாட் எவர் யூ ரீட் ரீட் வித் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஏஷியன் ஹிஸ்ட்ரி இஸ் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் ஆக்சுவலி ஓகே ஃபைன் ஓகே டேக் அ ஃபைன் அண்ட் பிரேக் வில் பி பேக் வித் த கர